Steam turbines are used in industrial production and bring many benefits to humans. What is the structure of a steam turbine? What are the operating principles and applications? Let's watch the video for more information. What is a steam turbine? A steam turbine is a device used in a boiler system to convert water into steam, providing hot steam or high-pressure steam for industrial processes or other applications. Steam turbines are an important part of the steam production process. It works by using high temperature and pressure to turn water into steam. Water is fed into the steam turbine through a water pipe, then the water is heated to a temperature and pressure sufficient to convert into steam. The steam produced is used to provide heat or power for industrial processes, such as heating water, generating steam for steam systems, running machinery, and many other applications. So, here is structure of steam turbine. Intake hose set. The intake manifold assembly is made up of components such as pipes, intake valves, weld fittings, conical pipes and elbows. The intake valve has the function of shutting off flow in case of emergency incidents or when overhaul is needed. The intake manifold is designed with welded parts, ensuring pressure tolerance and good hydraulic performance. Main divisions. The main part of the steam turbine has a two-pillar structure and includes components such as guide blades and head cover. The ring and bottom of the main unit are made of stainless steel. The turbine distributor has a simple sliding leaf structure, making it easy to install and overhaul. There are protective sliding pins used between the flow barrier and the automatic flow barrier. Rotating part. The rotating part of the turbine is the rotor installed on the extension of the rotor shaft and cone. The rotor housing is made from stainless steel, has good corrosion resistance and abrasion resistance. Straw set. The suction pipe set includes the air intake device, elbow pipe and conical pipe. The air intake device is installed between the bottom collar and the elbow pipe. The purpose of the air fill device is to reduce hydraulic vibration and the effects of cavitation gas, while providing natural makeup air from outside the device's nominal area. Now, we will see the operating principle of steam turbine. The operating principle is based on the movement of steam and the interaction between steam pressure and rotating blades. The main operating process is described as follows. Steam is introduced into the turbine through nozzles. Steam pressure from the nozzle acts on the rotating blades placed on the shaft. As steam flows through the nozzles, its velocity increases, creating stronger pressure on the rotating blades of the turbine. The impact of this pressure causes the rotor shaft to rotate. The rotation of the rotor shaft converts kinetic energy from the steam into mechanical kinetic energy. Mechanical kinetic energy is transmitted to the blades and rotor through the shaft connection. This device is usually connected to the generator of the steam turbine. The rotation speed of the rotating blade usually corresponds to the speed of steam flowing through it. As the steam flow increases, the force acting on the rotating blades also increases, thereby creating a higher rotation speed. Therefore, the steam turbine is sused as a generator, which may include a multi-stage turbine and three low-pressure turbines operating in parallel. Secondly is gas turbine. A gas turbine, also called a combustion turbine, is a type of continuous flow internal combustion engine. The main parts common to all gas turbine engines form the power producing part and are, in the direction of flow, a rotating gas compressor, a combustor and a compressor driving turbine. The basic operation of the gas turbine is a Brayton cycle with air as the working fluid. Atmospheric air flows through the compressor that brings it to higher pressure. Energy is then added by spraying fuel into the air and igniting it so that the combustion generates a high temperature flow. This high temperature pressurized gas enters a turbine, producing a shaft work output in the process, used to drive the compressor. The unused energy comes out in the exhaust gases that can be repurposed for external work, such as directly producing thrust in a turbojet engine, or rotating a second, independent turbine. The purpose of the gas turbine determines the design so that the most desirable split of energy between the thrust and the shaft work is achieved. The fourth step of the Brayton cycle is omitted, as gas turbines are open systems that do not reuse the same air. Gas turbines are used to power aircraft, trains, ships, electrical generators, pumps, gas compressors, and tanks.
Next part would be story about Trent XWB. The world's most efficient large aero engine. The Rolls-Royce Trent XWB is a high-bypass turbofan produced by Rolls-Royce Holdings. In July 2006, the Trent XWB was selected to power exclusively the Airbus A350. The first engine was run on 14 June 2010. It first flew on an A380 testbed on 18 February 2012. It was certified in early 2013. And it first flew on an A350 on 14 June 2013. The Trent XWB is an axial flow, high bypass turbofan keeping the characteristic coaxial three shaft architecture of the Rolls Royce Trent. The 3.00 meters, 118 in, fan is driven by a six stage turbine. An eight stage IP compressor is powered by a two stage turbine, and a six stage HP compressor is turned by a single stage turbine. The annular combustor has 20 off-fuel spray nozzles and the engine is controlled by a dual-channel FADEC. The Trent XWB features a two-stage IP turbine rather than a single stage from previous Trent engines. Designed, engineered, and optimized for the A350 these perfect partners deliver 25% lower fuel burn and CO2 emissions. A clean start towards a more sustainable and profitable future. The Trent XWB has the power to connect almost any two cities globally thanks to its unique range capability. It currently flies the world's longest commercial route a true demonstration of the industry-leading versatility. This versatility is matched equally by reliability. The Trent XWB enjoyed the best entry into service of any wide-body engine, delivering a step change in maturity and reliability. Game-changing efficiency coupled with industry-leading versatility and reliability is powerful for the bottom line. It's little wonder the Trent XWB is the fastest-selling wide-body engine ever, with more than 1,800 in service or on order. Bonus part, we will discover bevel gear and motor rewinding. What is a bevel gear and how does it work? Gears or cogwheels are devices made of tooth wheels that transfer mechanical power between two elements. The use of gears is widespread because they offer many advantages, occupy little space, transfer large amounts of power, high performance, basic maintenance, eliminate any chance of slippage. Teeth of a bevel gear can be either straight or spiraled, which is also known as a conical helix. Different types of gears can be classified based on their tooth width, but also on the tooth face width or the center's circular pitch. Bevel gears are used in a wide variety of applications, which range from the mining sector to the aerospace sector. They are also common in conical mills and sand mixers, forklifts, cooling towers, ship actuators and propellers. High-speed offset printing, pharmaceutical packaging machines, polyethylene sheet production and automotive and rail transmissions. In robotics, angled bevel gears are used for small spaces, while in ferrous metallurgy they are used in rolling mill vertical supports. Bevel gears also play a major role in the packaging and processing of food and in can manufacturing equipment.